guys, I am Taylor and welcome to my channel. Today I will be bringing you guys along to see the pieces that I purchased from Zara for spring. You guys seem to have loved all of my other fashion hauls, so I wanted to bring you guys another spring inspired haul. And if you've not yet seen those other videos and you are interested, I will link them above so you can go check them out after this video. Of course, I will link everything that I can down below. If you guys see that I have a couple rashes while I'm trying on these pieces for you, don't worry, I'm not dying. A couple days ago, I went outside and I forgot to wear sunscreen. First sunny day that we ever have. And not only did I burn my back, but I got sun rashes. So note to self, don't forget your sunscreen because your girl did. Where should we begin? We usually start with tops, so let's switch it up today and let's start with bottoms. So I ended up purchasing two pairs of jeans, a blue jean and then also a black jean. A year ago, I purchased a pair of jeans from Zara and they are by far my favorite jean. They are super comfortable and they fit me perfectly, the exact way that I like my jeans fitting. They fit above the hip and they don't hug the leg. They're super straight down the leg, which I really like. These jeans are just a boyfriend jean. And one really great thing about Zara is that their jean material is not cheap. It is a thick jean, so I know that the jean will last for a very long time. The blue jean is pretty much the exact same as the black jean, the boyfriend style that is just straight leg and then also is high-waisted, so it sits above my hip. These ones kind of have a distressed waistband as well as the bottom. simple, but as you can tell, the bottom's a little bit more distressed as well as the waistband which adds a different type of style and vibe to the pant, which I like. Next up, I really wanted to show you guys this funky jacket that I got. It's a kind of a strange color, a pastel, red, pink, cherry maybe color. I thought like this is kind of vintage vibe. I don't even know how to, like what is this material? Sid? Okay, so after asking Sydney, we still both don't know. We would say that this is kind of along the lines as like denim, but it feels a little bit velvety. I would probably wear this jacket with maybe a pair of jeans and a spaghetti strap underneath if it is a warmer day, or I would maybe put it with a dress even. If it was a colder day, I would probably consider putting it with a hoodie. And then that is what is so great about this is it's a little bit oversized, so it will fit over top of different types of layers if I want to wear it with a hoodie or other types of shirts underneath it. Okay, I got one more jacket. So this next jacket is similar in style to the previous one, but it is plaid. And what is great about these are that they're oversized and similar to the other one, I would wear it with like a hoodie or a spaghetti strap. And I was trying to go for color in my wardrobe because to me, spring is like bright colors, not always like black and white. And I tend to wear a lot of neutral colors. Plaid jacket was not on sale, but the red, pink, cherry, washed cherry jacket was 25% off. So steal of a deal again. I didn't necessarily need a hoodie, but I think it is important for everybody to have that one staple hoodie, white or black. And this one is a cream oversized hoodie. It was on sale for $10. The sleeves as well as the bottom of the jacket have the cool, this cool little elasticy fabric added onto it. And I would most definitely pair these with the sweaters or even if I was working out and I was wearing like biker shorts or something, I would definitely just throw that over top and have the biker shorts coming out the bottom. <laughs> Next up is tank tops. Once again, what I just noticed is I bought a lot of things in this haul that are the exact same, but I got them in two different colors, which is kind of funny. I didn't realize that before. I picked out two tank tops, one in this pretty bubblegum pink and this other one in the khaki cream kind of beige color. And I think it is super important for everybody to have some tank tops or like spaghetti straps because they are so versatile and you can wear them with so many different things and also wear them as layers. So when it comes to the spring, I would definitely put this on and then put on one of those jackets. Or if it was a little bit colder out, I would maybe put this underneath the hoodie and then the jacket on top, but still then you have the different layers where if you get warm, you can take one off. What is so great about these tanks is they are not a cheap fabric. They are heavy duty, nice and thick, and they are comfortable. They are so soft. I posted a picture in this tank top just the other day actually. So if you wanted to go check that out, my Instagram is right here. 
best thing about them is I bought them both together for only $15. I feel like everybody should have some tank tops in their wardrobe because they are such staple pieces where they are simple but you can easily dress them up in different ways. Moving along, I still have three things for you guys. I don't have that many fancy work attire. I decided to pick up a little bit of a fancier shirt and then I loved it so much like the other shirts, I ended up getting it in another color. Silky green. It's a button up like business shirt. I pictured myself wearing it with maybe a sweater over top of it and I feel like either way is super trendy right now and comfortable and stylish. I also got the exact same one in pearl white. The last item I was a little bit skeptical on but then my sister said that I should get it and the more that I think about it I'm pretty happy that I got it because it's kind of like vintage vibes and you can wear it as a shirt but I could also wear it as a cover-up when I wear a dress or something. So it is this cute little cardigan that is a short sleeve and I love the ruching on the sleeves. It has the scalloped ends to mention the beautiful knit design which I love love. Okay, so I think that wraps up the entire haul. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you liked everything that you saw. And of course, don't forget to double tap that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.